Hi, it's Chris here from IH Motorhomes. So, an update today, just to give you a bit of a lowdown as to what brand new IH Motorhomes stock is available to you. We've been lucky, we've got an extra two Fiats, and they're in build right now, so we've got two spare Fiats, basically. They've not been allocated just yet. They're in build right now, 630 RLs. They're both pretty much the same spec, different interiors, but they're both on the website. Now, they're gonna be available to collect by the end of April, so if you're interested in that, give Nicola a ring on those. We've got an Iveco in the showroom at the moment. It's the 17 the IFLG so it's a front lounge mid kitchen and shower room and then you've got a large garage space at the back really really nice van that one that one's on the website as well and then just coming through we've got a 710 IFL the IFL is the one with the twin single beds you've got your front lounge and your mid sort of kitchen and shower room big garage space on that one as well that's in build right now that one's in silver that one's going to be coming into the showroom by the end of the month or there or thereabouts now we do have further build slots for your IV cos for your VWs, give us a ring if you've got more interest on that, you want to sort of spec up your own IH motorhome. The telephone number below for Nicola, or you can call the office on 01977 677 So my name's Chris, as I said, get hold of me, get hold of me Nicola, make your appointment and come and make the dream happen. Thanks for watching. Now on the website, we've got the updated brochure downloads on the Iveco on the 710 models. So when you go up to the new motorhomes at the top left hand side of the page, on that menu there, it will say brochure downloads. You just need to pop your details in and that will come through as an email so you can see the full brand new Iveco brochure on the IH. Thanks very much. I'd like to introduce you to one of the newest members of our range, which is a 710 IFL. It's got the rear garage and the mini front lounge. The feel of it, the balance of it is great. I don't mind doing videos, but you just can't do it justice. You need to come and have a look at this van. On the back of, I call them the super van now, which is our li larger range of vehicles that's moved on quickly found out that uh, when we went on to the crafters, it was a real alternative to people that buy A-classes and coach builds and overcabs and things like that. The Iveco been a little bit bigger, another foot longer, but squarer, chunkier. That's our latest addition to our super van range, as it were. Twin single beds, you've got it lofted, but it's nice and easy to get in and out of, which suits a lot of customers and also with its layout and finish and its configuration, gives you a lot, lot, lot bigger boot and boot space. So that's why we've gone for that on the rear lounge. On the front lounge, we've kind of moved it forward a little bit, but you still get more space than you do on the other crafter super van. So what we've done there is we've kind of then added about six to 800 millimeters of chosen space, I call it, which you can configure yourself. We have got left, I think we had about 16 or 20 vans. I think we've used, we've got about eight or 10 vehicles left, ranging from three and a half ton up to five ton. So we discard the standard front seats, that are a bit more commercial, and we put the Italian Agouti seats in with the twin armrests. Half leather, lovely twin stitch, and it makes a nice seat to lounge in as well. The reason for the smaller front lounge is because this vehicle is dominated by the rear single beds. You can use, obviously, throughout the day, you can put your feet up and read a book. One or the other can sit at the front, relax, uh, use everything else in your van, get to everything else, your galley, toilet, shower, everything. It gives it more a motorhome feel or A-class feel. This has got two electric induction rings, got the sink here. To the right hand side, lots of preparation space. Now, the feedback of the beauty of this is the preparation space is just unbelievable. The position of the sink and the ob. If you look at the end also, if you need any more or want any more, and this aids preparation space you've got and everything, it's just phenomenal, really. And just below the sink and drainer, we've got two large drawers that you can split to whatever you're used to. The fridge central. Large fridge again, compressor fridge. Uh, this particular van has got lithium system on, got two massive batteries on, inverters and everything, which we can go through with you again a bit later. Got the microwave grill below the hob. And again, a bit of storage for your pans, and pots and everything underneath that. Got little bits here for knickknacks. Two doors, press, lift. Again, this can be compartmentalised for you. It depends, again, what you would use it for. I've got to say, I love the finish. These have got the matte grey on with the new cross doors, inserts, flush, all matched in. All this is about the detail of this van and all that we do, actually, in every van. Stainless steel hinges, 
which give it a robust feel to it and also longevity. These hinges are not coming off. You can see the matte finish and the inserts. You can have any combination, remember, we'll be showing you in the front lounge in a bit. But if you look at this here and this, the contrast looks fantastic. And obviously the grain runs the right way, all matched in and everything. And if you look over to my right in on the toilet door, we've got that in reverse. We've got the grey insert with the grain door. Looks great. This has got the slate finish on the top with the matte splash backs as well. So it's wiped down as well. And you've got your 12 volt, 12 volt and on off switch over the galley. Moving to the back, this is the, I call it the domination of the layout. Uh, when I'm trying to figure layouts, I want to do in what van and why. Uh, these are two single beds, six foot four by two foot four wide. Easily got in and out, nice sit there get in and out really easy. In the centre, we've got storage here. We've got all the controls, beds for us, dimmers, lights, 240 and two USBs. Again, more storage at the back and storage all around the roof area. When we looked at the superstructure of the body, of the metalwork and the body, it really fit this layout and we've put double insulation at this area and underneath here is masses and i mean masses masses of storage and this particular van we showed uh, we've got the tv there i'm not sure personally if i'd have a tv i'd have a little small one i think up there and a little small one at the front but again remember these are built for you you could have an ipad storage area there you could just put it on or you could have one at this side on an arm We've got, and the one we've got a couple of orders for, they want a little iPad storage where you just slot it in at the front and onto a little bracket. So you can use, you've got the uh, options then of using the front lounge if one or two of you are in bed or you leave each other in bed and one wants to get up and use the rest of the van. That's what's good about this van. But the feature about this van is two single beds, really comfortable beds that can be used through the day on a night or whenever. If you look down here, carpets, Lofted again, choice of carpets, colour, finish, etc., including the webbing underneath. Built again to last, strong and finished. There's an example. So there's three or four compartments all down the centre of the van to use what you want. Some people that were again turned up and said, Oh, we can use this, we can do that, we can do this. Mainly, we can use it for storage of drinks and food and things like that. Thickness of these decals all sectional and if you look down the side you've got light starts at the front light all the way through to the back which is dark the blue circle is to suit your interior detail look at the doors and the finishes and the inserts more detail even to the point i'm going to lift up this seat now detail this particular vehicle uh, has the diesel truma and if you look at that, it's a three kilowatt inverter with a bank of lithium batteries. Detail, finished, look at the finish of the cabling, etc. etc. Ceiling features, the lights all inset, the borders around the speakers, door inserts, roof lights dimmed again. All this is all top quality. To finish off with this, I love this van. And I'll tell you why I love it. It's because when you build it and it suits the van and everything fits, the heights, the widths, and it gets a feel, you've got to get in it and it's got to feel good. Lads know, and uh, Nicola knows in particular, it's not my cup of tea, this colour, this light colour. But with the finish on and the grey doors and the finish with the inserts of the same colour and reverse on the toilet door, it just sets it off brilliantly. I think it's a perfect panel van and uh, are as close as we're going to get to perfection. I say that because there's always a compromise and the compromise in this is probably the shower and toilet. It's functional though, built well still, but functional. But apart from that, it just the storage at the back, you know, 10 out of 10, the finish and feel and layout just works for this van. And this substructure under the floor and everything from more store, which gives you this feature step as you walk in. A top finish, we'll go with it with the silver fronts and that. It just it just works well. 
So as we, we move around the back of the van here, you've got this at the top, the headboard, the head, so you can sit up at the back as well. You've got what this vehicle is all about, storage space. We look under the back here, substructure, aluminium cross members, both here, so it's built to last. A big step forward in kind of grandeur. Even though it's a big van, we were massively impressed with the drive. And like a lot of modern vans these days, they drive more car-like than they used to do in the past. So that's a big tick for us. Having said that, that's a big reason to go for a panel van size, which is size of a small coach built and above. In this way, you see, you've got a full steel body rather than a caravan on the back of a chassis cab. It's gonna drive a lot, lot better. And we sell to a lot of people that do put miles on the van. Travel to Europe, all around the UK, N500, you name it, they do it. And that's one of the reasons we've gone for the monocoque steel, because of the drivability, the durability, better from a finish point of view. When you've got uh, different things on a metal surface, it's much easier to, the decals could turn out better, the, the paint works much better, and so on. The Iveco and Crafter, uh, sizes and finishes and layout come from I quickly listened to people and the shows and that from the traditional kind of 600 and 630 size of your Fiat's Peugeot's and, and that kind of thing we quickly found out that the people came down from seven meter uh, coach builds A classes and so on it weren't quite big enough they wanted that drivability but they want a space. And they, haven't, they didn't quite get the space and elbow room they wanted in a six metre or 6.3. Hence, the move up to the crafter and now the Iveco. And the Iveco then um, fills a gap that's created by people that uh, want the drivability and want the space. That's why we do two different heights as well, extra high roof and high roof. The extra high roof is usually used on the rear lounge. We use it on the rear lounge because we've got underfloor storage. And the underfloor storage also obviously acts as a double floor, which gives you more insulation from that point of view as well. I wanted to uh, look at one of our Iveco's, the front lounge or rear lounge, um, make contact, landline, or call Nicola uh, personally, and she'll go through uh, what we've got, what's coming in, what, what your needs are, uh, what actually a van might suit you better than others and, and, and actually go through um, what and why we did each layout uh, and ask you actually what, what you've had before so we can get some, some information from that as well.